So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So Sorkin Alawa Alvarez and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. stepped on the scales earlier on today for their non-title fight tomorrow night in Vegas, their Mexican showdown on Cinco de Mayo weekend, weight limit for this fight was 164.5 pound catch weight. Both men came in under at 164 pounds. And Canelo looked fine, he looked comfortable. Canelo at this kind of weight, he's not depleting himself to 154 pounds. He looks at a more of a natural weight, Canelo Alvarez. To all the people who said he wasn't a middleweight, that's a joke. But Julio Cesar Chavez, in my opinion, looked a little bit depleted, looked a little bit drained. He looked like taking the last few pounds off was a bit hard. Chavez Jr. in his last fight he weighed in at 168 pounds and he looked spent at that weight so now that he's had to take another four pounds off he just looks a little bit depleted Chavez Jr. he looks very gaunt in the face stuff like that but he's going to rehydrate obviously for tomorrow night but could that affect his performance coming down to such a low weight for him because the last time he fought at this kind of weight was 160 pounds against Martinez five years ago in mean, five years is a long time and Could that affect his performance and if it does I see Canelo winning the fight easily and Maybe stopping Chavez jr. Late on or winning a wide 12 round unanimous decision. I don't see Canelo beating Chavez jr. Early because Chavez jr. Is durable. He's got a great chin He's a very tough guy say what you want about him, but Chavez jr. Is tough and Hopefully, because he's been training with Nacho Berestein, Chavez Jr. for this fight, Hall of Fame trainer, the trainer of future Hall of Fame fighter Juan Manuel Marquez. Hopefully, they've had to know that Chavez Jr. has a massive reach and height advantage over Canelo. So somehow they're going to have to employ that into the game plan tomorrow night. Because if they come in there and Chavez just fights his normal style of coming forward, throwing pressure... On Canelo, then I see Canelo just beating him up, throwing counter punches, breaking him down with body shots, with his shot selection, head to body. I just see it being an easy fight for Canelo if Chavez Jr. comes to him. But if somehow they have to make Canelo come to them and he can use his height and reach to try and keep Canelo off him, then he could frustrate Canelo Chavez Jr. But Chavez Jr. has always been a one dimensional fighter. But we'll just have to see tomorrow night if Nacho Berestein has helped him out at all in terms of his boxing skill and ability. Anyway, I'm not going to go on too much about this. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM.